Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to go over how you can add filters to your Qualtrics dashboard so that you can filter out the information you need for different stakeholders. Now, if you haven't watched this video about setting up your dashboard, I highly suggest you pause this one, watch that video, and then return to this one as that one covers critical aspects and things to keep in mind when you're first setting up your dashboard, while this one goes into how you can sort of segment the data into different chunks so different stakeholders can see different things. With that being said, let's hop into a dashboard and take a look. So hopping into this dashboard, adding filters is actually really, really straightforward. What you're going to want to do is once you head to the edit mode by clicking this pencil up in the top right corner, you can add a filter right away. So if you add a filter, then you have all these different options on things you can filter by. So these guys show the category of what you can filter by. In this case, question two is text, text set. These guys are date fields. These are keywords like latitude, longitude, names, things you usually search, and then comments. Now, if you had a filter up here, this is a filter that will apply to every single widget on the page. So for example, if I add this filter and let's say, I want the progress for all of these responses to be 100. And this will apply to every single widget on the page so that if I change this filter to, let's say I wanted zero, all the widgets are adjusted at once. So that's what happens when you add a filter at the very top of the page. It applies to everything on the page at once and affects all the widgets at the same time. Now, if we head into a specific widget and apply a filter in there, this guy either overrides the page filter completely or works in tandem with the page filter as an and condition, but only affects that particular widget and doesn't touch any of the other widgets on the page. So for example, if in the intent to stay widget, if I filter this, and said, I only want to know the people who answered likely. It filters just this widget, but leaves all the other widgets untouched. So just this widget is affected by a widget level filter, while a page filter affects everything on the dashboard. And then if let's say I change this to zero, you'll see here that the page filter and the widget filter work together when the two don't conflict. But if I added a widget level filter that is in direct contradiction with the page filter, for example, let's say I change progress here to 100, since the page level filter and the widget level filter conflict, Qualtrics will always pick the widget level filter to override the page filter. And then the final filter you can add to a dashboard, which will affect every page, is an org hierarchy filter. This guy, you need to build an org hierarchy first and need to be working on the right project type. But if you had an org hierarchy filter, it supersedes both the page filter and the widget filter as it goes across every single page you add to the dashboard. So for example, let's say I added a blank page. I call this page one. If I add an org hierarchy filter on this page, it'll also be applied to page one. If I duplicate this, page two, and so on. Every single page will be affected by this org hierarchy filter. Now recapping, going over the tiers and hierarchies of filters, if we start first with the org hierarchy filter, if you add a filter on here, it'll apply to every single page at once and overrides all other options. If you add a page filter, it'll apply to all the widgets at once. And if you add a widget level filter, it'll apply to just that widget. But if you add a widget level filter that conflicts with a page filter, the widget level filter will override the page filter. But if you apply a page filter, it doesn't override an org hierarchy filter. And similarly, a widget level filter doesn't override an org hierarchy filter either. Hope that clarifies things about filters and different filter configurations because this is often a very common issue that comes up when working with filters because sometimes you'll have two filters that conflict on a page or two filters that conflict in a widget and then you'll see missing data 
where there should be data displayed. So usually what we always suggest is taking another glance at your filters to see if there are any conditions that make it impossible for data to show up or if there's something else going on where the page filter and the widget filter combine sort of make it so that it's an impossible condition and data doesn't show up or maybe the widget level filters and org hierarchy filters conflict or something like that so that the data doesn't show up. But usually when going over the different filters and making sure that all those conditions make sense, you will get the data you expect. Hope that clarifies things. If you guys have additional questions, concerns, or anything like that, please feel free to reach out in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon in the next video. Take care.